Adding custom department names to Passport will allow administrators to apply group permissions for uh, specific departments. This way, when you're adding people to a department, they will inherit the permissions that were applied to that department. To create new departments or to even edit existing ones, you'll first need to be logged in as an administrator. And once you're logged in, you can either click on the admin ribbon at the top or open the admin folder in the folder tree, come down to the department option and select it. Here you'll be able to see a list of the current departments that are in the system, or if you need to create a new one, just click the new button in the top right. And for the department code, you can either activate a barcode generator and have the application provide sequential barcodes for each department, or to make things easier, you may want to use something like this naming convention that you see below here so that each department is a little more easier to recognize. Once you've got the department code and the department name, then you'll select the security level for this new group. So for the operations group, we're going to give them full permissions. Then we'll go ahead and click Save. We can now see that the new group's been added, as well as the permissions for that group. At this point, if we went back to enter any additional people into the database, we'd be able to select the new operations department, and those permissions would be applied for that new person.